Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ella J. So happy that y'all are here today with me. But yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. This is a drawing of one of my favorite actresses from South Africa. Her name is Pearl Tusi, if y'all don't know. She stars in this um, Netflix original series called Queen Sono, which I am obsessed with, so I just had to draw her. Um, but yeah, so just starting off with this sketch. Um, just I do these simple sketch lines nothing too crazy I think that's how everybody starts you know I, I usually use a pencil and then I go back over it with a thicker um, ink pen brush or whatever you want to call it but yeah like y'all know I'm new to this digital game so every time I draw I'm just learning more techniques I definitely did a lot of different techniques but yeah as you can see I'm going over it with the line and now I'm adding my basic shade and y'all skin is new for me y'all already know from the Tiana Taylor inspired drawing like skin color is new for me I'm a black and white girl I do my shades and highlights and that's it but yeah with her skin it started off real dark from the original uh reference photo uh, so I just knew that was just gonna be the base color and I had a lot of work to uh, go because she's more like a yellow kind of skin tone and this was very like brown but yeah I just kept adding shades added a little uh, sheerness to her dress or shirt that she had on the eyes was giving me problems I have these preset eye um, things that I got from another artist I'll probably link it down below and that really helps the eyes look more realistic but y'all I'm not even gonna sit up here in front when I tell you old girls lips had me stressed out I don't know why I'm usually fine with lips it's usually teeth that throw me off and noses but these lips y'all gonna see throughout this um drawing that these lips change like I think 50 times it's gonna go fast but these lips oh my god yo but yeah at this point in time when I was looking at the drawing I was like she looking a little bit fake <laughs> I couldn't explain it like she just looked fake it was a it was a jawline like I could see it but I was like I'm just gonna keep working on the eyes and make the eyes look better the eyelashes I had a hard time doing um, just to make them look realistic because you know to make those individual strokes it can either go good or bad so I just zoomed in really close and then I used the um, brush set that's um, already in Procreate it just says fine hair and I just used that on the smallest setting and that's how I was able to get the eyelashes I did the same with the eyebrows I just used that fine hair brush I did a little shading underneath because there was no way I was going to get that darkness with just those fine hairs. And then I put a darker fine hair brush over that shading to just make it look more realistic. And went back and cleaned it up. So now I'm erasing the dark um, pen outline because I didn't like the way it was making it look. It looked too cartoony and I was going for a semi-realistic look with this drawing. Um, but yeah, I just knew that the mouth, uh, the mouth was not working. The same with the chin. I was just looking at that as y'all can see the hair by the chin isn't even completely finished and the way I do my layers is kind of weird like I'll do skin as one layer mouth as one layer now y'all see me correcting the chin and adding some more shadows I tried to do hair as one layer but I think I was going too fast and I ended up doing the hair and the skin on the same layer so I had zero room <laughs> zero room for errors and that's why I just erased that hair by the chin because while I kept adding shades the um the tan was going on to the hair and that was irritating me so I'm, I'm gonna fill it in obviously at the end um so yeah I'm just touching up the eyes and the eyelashes I went back and made them pop by just um, taking a thin pen brush because remember I used the hair strokes for the eyelashes but I took a thin pen brush and just did some mimics of hair by the the very like by the eye pretty much so it was darker by the roots if that makes sense I did the same thing for the under eye eyelashes that made it pop um, if y'all can see her um, like where you would put the contour is messed up and I couldn't figure out why like I kept trying to fix it if you could see it changing again with those lips changing a million times I had a layer under there that I didn't know about that made it that weird little 
y'all can see me trying to fix it that weird little darkness i'm like what is that like i kept erasing and filling it in and erasing it and then i finally figured out it was on like the eyeball layer or something and that's when i figured it out and i was like whoo <laughs> but yeah now y'all see me i just added that lighter white highlight around the mouth and that made it look really good for some reason i'm like you can see the highlight in the picture, but I don't know why. When I put that on there, I'm like, yes, that's how her mouth looks. I was happy with it. I was semi-happy with the lips. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. But, yeah, it was just the lip color she had. And then the creases in the lips was giving me a problem. And trying to keep it, like, a fine line. Because you don't want your lips to be that raggedy looking line, you know? Like, you want it to look good. So I finally got to a place where I was happy with the lips. And then I was like, let me just make this pop a little bit. So I went ahead and cut out the Queen Stone No logo, pasted it on there. And then copied and pasted it on this drawing that I did for the background. Mimicking the colors in that logo, which was really fun. And yeah, that's how it came out. And I must have did a good job because Queen Stone No Miss Pearl Susie herself posted it on her um story which i was super excited to see that she saw it she said i love this which just made me so excited like every artist just want to be loved at the end of the day especially if you draw somebody you know and then that person sees it and they recognize themselves in the art and they love it but yeah make sure y'all like comment and subscribe see you next time